Hey everyone, Elizabeth here at Dandelion Soap, an herb shop in Germantown, North Carolina. And I have had a lot of requests, a lot of people buy my elderberry cough syrup. And now I actually offer it in packets where it's already pre-packed. It's got the instructions on it and it will make up to a quart at a time. People are curious about how the elderberry cough syrup came about, what it's about, and what it does. Well, the elderberry, as you know, if you've done any research, it builds the immune system. And after six months of using it, it will actually reset the immune system. Believe that, it will actually reset the immune system. And so things that would normally trigger your allergies, a cold, a flu, uh, asthma, you are suddenly immune to, and it doesn't bother you anymore. So this is basically how it's made. It takes five ingredients to make it. Now, I'm not going to give you the count because I can't give you my magic formula. I have to make a living. That's what I do here at Dandelion is I actually custom make everything that you need. If you have a situation, something, uh, an ailment, a sickness or something, I generally custom make it to fit you individually. Also, take into mind that you might have medications that you take. Uh, you may have allergies that will set things off and if you don't have enough knowledge about herbs, then you could actually potentially be taking something that's hindering or it's counteracting your medication. So it's real, real important to have the right measurement of the right ingredients so that your body knows what to do with it and it's not harming you. Elderberry cough syrup. It has elderberries and let me show you what they look like. I keep everything in glass or plastic that's airtight and watertight. So that way, and it also diffuses the sun so that the sun doesn't degrade it. Uh, so everything here is going to be in like really odd. Thank you. Thank you for all your love. Thank you for all the thumbs up. <clears throat> and it will uh, keep the sun from taking away any of the benefits. Uh, so it has to filter the sun. It has to be airtight. It has to be watertight order to preserve the herbs so here's the, here's some of the things to let you know if that herb is really potent if it's still doing good and if you keep anything of your own and you gather it you'll know to keep it in something that's airtight watertight and will diffuse sunlight so here's what's really cool if you the if you go to a restaurant they generally purchase potato salad chicken salad uh, slaw in containers like this and this is a uh, PABA safe um, it will filter sunlight and they're generally liquid and airtight so the seal will pop on them even though it's kind of flimsy it's really very well sealed I hope y'all heard that so the the first thing is like the smell I just smelt the aroma and I know for a fact that, that is fresh Another thing is the color. I'm going to try to get that close to you guys. Can everybody see that? Give me a thumbs up if you can see it. If you can see it really good. See how greenish brown it looks. It's really fresh. And everybody knows what peppermint smells like. So if it's fresh, it's going to look and smell like peppermint. And these, I generally, I don't, the ones that I grow, I use personally. So when you come to the shop or if you order online through the website or if you order through Facebook or you DM me through Instagram and order, just know that I have been dealing with a company. They are actually, um, they're a co-op company, which means that they, uh, there's a bunch of them and they all grow different things. And that's, they come together and they sell it off a single website. You do have to buy it in bulk. You can't just buy just a little bit. You have to buy bulk. So it's very fresh. Generally what they do is they will actually hire college students to do internship. So that student gets college credit. Uh, they get to learn the knowledge for free. It does, but they're labor. They're laboring. So they're having to work. And they will gather these up. Whenever I place that order, they automatically gather they bring the bundles they cut sift it right then or however i want it if i want it grounded if i need it whole uh and they bag it up and when they bag it up it's in these beautiful blue bags they're very dark and nothing can get in there and they t 
tie them up, and then they come in a case box. So they don't. They do charge me for handling, but they don't charge any shipping. So that's a benefit to us. We mm -hmm. don't have to pay that extra. So what I do for you guys is I carry over a hundred herbs here. I mean, any if you can name it, I probably have it. Uh, so elderberries. I promised you guys I'd show you what it looks like. We're going. I'm going to put together the syrup. I have an order that needs to go out today for syrup, and I'm basically giving selling them the packet now, uh, rather than actually making the syrup and selling it for eight dollars a bottle. I'm selling them the packet for ten dollars, basically with tax and everything, and they can make a quart jar. I mean, a whole mason quart jar of the syrup and they can take it as often as they need and take it up to eight times a day and take it every two hours if you like so elderberries they're very beautiful i don't want to handle them i need to keep them sanitary and they're dark blue they're real dark purple and you can eat them straight out of this jar they're delicious and they're very nutritious and like i said they're really really good for the immune system um the elder flowers Airtight. Sorry. Air and liquid tight. This is the elder flowers. And see, just that aroma, as soon as you take that lid off. Now, if you have an herb, if you get an herb um, from someone and it has um, turned like a real deep brown and that's not common for it, uh, or it has no, it doesn't have a smell, then chances are that herb is probably uh, losing, lost a lot of its uh, potency doesn't mean that it's completely dead, but most of the time, if they are, you know, two and a half years old, you probably just need to ditch them and just move on to something else. <laughs> Additionally, echinacea will go into the elderberry cough syrup. And echinacea is very beautiful, even in the jar. It has a nice smell. And you'll see, like, um, I'll try to show this to you guys. It has, like, a green, purple, and brown in there. Now, for those of you who don't know, echinacea is actually known to most people as purple coneflower. So when you go to Lowe's or you go to Home Depot and got these, or Walmart and they got these beautiful uh, flowers, purple coneflowers, just know that is actually echinacea. So there you go. Learn something today. And then I showed you guys peppermint. It is a yellow flower. Okay, yarrow is what's going to help you. It, it goes through the indigest. Uh, I'm sorry, congestion, and works almost like a decongestant. But like when you first take the elderberry, you actually go <coughs> and you will cough up phlegm. So what it does is it slices that phlegm. It turns it into a liquid form so that your body can do one of two. One, cough it up to where you can spit out. Or number two, liquefied enough that when it loosens, even though you cough it up, it, you may not be able to get it up enough to spit it out, expel it, in other words, so you can swallow it and it'll go through the natural digestive tract and without you getting bronchitis or mucus built up in the system. So what it does is it cuts that mucus and it cuts that is a decongestant but it's better than just a regular cough syrup decongestant. Most decongestants just open you up, free up your breathing. Um, but so, but that's what they're doing. They don't really cut the mucus. Yarrow can do that. Yarrow will actually cut the mucus, liquefy it, and like I said, be able to expel it. Or uh, you'll be able to go through the digestive tract. So, going back to review, elderberry technically has five ingredients. Elderberries, elder flowers, peppermint, yarrow, and echinacea. And they they are different parts. Uh, in other words, think of when I say parts, when a medicine is made herbally, it has to have a formula. So your formula may call for two parts of this, one part of that, half a part of this, and then herbs in your everyday life. The difference is, when people say, what's an herbalist? 
what is an herbalist? They they actually think that I just have plants surrounding me and that I'm some kind of hippie flower child something, something. I don't know. I've had different replies. Uh, an herbalist, what I the way that I explain it to people, what I like to be called when people refer to me as an herbalist, I like to think of myself as the bridge between the person and the plant. So that's what a herbalist does is we are the bridge between the person and the plant. So if you're a person and you have an ailment or a health issue or something that you're trying to address in a natural way, and you know that there are herbal plants or natural remedies that you can use, but you don't know which one those are, then that's where me in the middle come. So I'm just the bridge between you and the plant what you need versus which one to pick and how to apply it. I also, you know, tell you how to prepare it, how to apply it, how to use it, how often to use it, how much of it to use. And so whenever you're thinking of a think of someone who is the bridge between you and the plant or between your issue and how to fix it. And we're not always right. Now remember, Every human being is different. Every plant is different. How your body responds to that plant and the treatment versus the plant and the treatment. If anybody puts chives on their food, you're using an herb, whether you know it or not. And sometimes they'll call them spices or seasoning. They're still herbs. So as long as you're trying to put those into your life, you are actually using herbs. There's no trick. There's no change of lifestyle. I swear you will not have to start braiding your hair and wearing tie dye if you're not, if you're not, you know, just to use herbs. They are wonderful. They're beneficial to you. I'm very southern, guys. Come on. I'm wearing flannel. This is my husband's shirt. I love, I love it. I love herbs. I love the plants. And people say, well, do you raise your own herbs? Well, I try to. But when you're trying to run a business and bring in fresh, organic, no pesticides, safe herbs for people to use, well, you make sacrifices. And well, my sacrifice is I can't play outside and necessarily harvest large amounts of herbs to supply my customers. There's no way. I, I don't have enough hours in my life to do that, nor do I have enough hands. So someone's got to make the medicines and the remedies and the decoctions and the tinctures and all the soaps and creams and first aids and somebody's got to do all that. And then I just depend on my co-op to supply me with healthy, beneficial, non-pesticide, non-poisoned plants. And that way I can enrich your lives and you benefit from what I have to offer. But if there's no questions, I'm going to get to work on packing out this elderberry cough syrup. I have some kava kava capsules i got to hand pack, and that will take time. I, I do hand pack everything here. I mix everything here, blend everything here. I am the clerk. <laughs> I run the, you know, I, run, I answer the phone. I'm the one running the shop, and I do all the work. The other thing that I don't do, and I print all of my information, all my brochures, do newsletters, maintain website, I do it all. The only thing I don't do is my business cards. I figure as long as they got one, two, three print or Vista print, there's no need for me to do that too. But thank you all for tuning in. If you will, share this. I'll leave it up. And uh, if you want to share it, I certainly appreciate all the support and any business you bring my way. If you have any questions, DM me either through Facebook or Instagram or pick up the phone and dial the number. And just for the sake of argument, the number of Dandelion Soap Herb Shop, moi, Elizabeth Morgan, 336-595-7500. Six, five, nine, five, seven, four, six, seven. That's the number. You guys have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. And if you will, share it with all your friends. Have a great day. 
And remember, if you need something or you have a question or you're curious, there's no obligation. Pick up the phone, call me, we'll chat, and we'll figure something out. And then again, I will be the first one to recommend you to go find further information or refer you to someone who may know more about that and help you in any way. And you guys have a great day. I love you all, and thank you for supporting Dandelion and, and following me. If you're not already a follower and you just like the post, you can always follow the page. Just click follow and be one of the gang. And I, I try to show to you that you enjoy and that's knowledge information, anything to help you learn more about Dandelion and what we do here. And so thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.